Hey everyone, today I'll be going over uh, problem number 938, range sum of a binary search tree. Given the root node of a binary search tree, return the sum of values of all nodes with a value in the range low to high. So basically, first things first, I'm going to delete the little boilerplate here. And then let's, let's figure out what's going on here. So it's very, very simple. Um, we just want to walk a binary tree and if a node lies within the range of low to high, then we sum it. So in this case, low is seven, high is 15. So we take this one, we don't take this one, uh, we take this one, we don't take, or we take this one, and then we don't take this one. So that's kind of the logic we're going for here. Now, let's figure out what's happening here. So let's how we're going to do this is we're going to solve this the easiest way possible and then we're going to expand on it and optimize it so i think this is a really good chance to do so so the first things first is we need our base case and our base case is if we reach the end or a leaf node or whatever uh, let's just return zero here because it doesn't it shouldn't count for any sum because it's not a valid node and then let's just check let's check if this root dot value lies within this range so basically, does it lie within low and high? And if it does, that's great. We can have some result here and then we can count this node. And then all we have to do is return the current result plus the left and the right subtrees results. So let's just do that. And then let's go ahead and copy and then go the right subtree. So we can do this and this is going to work if we run this. And well, it's not gonna work if I don't have a semicolon, but if we run this, uh, this, this should work. And actually let's go ahead and submit it and we'll see it works, but it's the runtime could be better. And let's think about how we can do that. So technically, so this is a working solution, but technically here, so if we think about this range and we think about the properties of a binary search tree, so every node to the left of the current node is always smaller. Every node to the right of the current node is always bigger. So really in reality, we don't wanna keep searching if the current node is out of bounds to the left, we don't wanna keep searching left. And what I mean by that is, so five is out of bounds. It's not in the range of seven to 15. So why would we want to search left? We know it's gonna be smaller, so it's still gonna be out of bounds. So that's kind of the logic we're going for here. And let's actually represent that. So what we wanna do is we wanna check basically if, so if it's not in this range, if it's currently not in this range, let's check if it's at least um, at least not over the high and at least not over the low. So basically else if root dot value or let's see, is it at least over the low? If it is good, that means that we can keep searching left. So let's go like this because we can still make it smaller is what I'm trying to say. And then actually we don't want this to be an else if now that I think about it because we don't want it to terminate. So if that's the case, good, we do that. And then also, is it under the high? Because if it's under the high, then that means we can account for the right subtree. So let's do it like this. And then now we can return res, and it's the same thing. We'll get the same solution, but we're actually decreasing our search space every single time. So let's run this, and let's submit this. And we'll see we get it's a lot faster because of that optimization so just walking it through i want to go through two ways and how to think about optimizing it and everything so i hope this is helpful and i appreciate it as always thanks for watching